Hey, this is Ryan from RyRob.com, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to name a blog. We're gonna walk through 10 easy and quick techniques to coming up with a great name for your blog, something that relates to your niche that you're personally interested in, and what you're gonna be blogging about, the topics you'll be covering, and is also available, right? Because you wanna get that .com or a .co, a .org, .net, something that's a top-level domain name that's very recognizable and going to be approachable to people. So in this quick video, we're gonna walk through how to land on that perfect blog name. Technique number one we're gonna be talking about for coming up with a name for your blog is picking up a book, finding something that you're personally interested in reading about. For me, that's Company of One by Paul Jarvis. This is a book I've been rereading recently. And in this book, we talk a lot about how to come up with a small business that's solo run, something that you're not trying to go out and get investor funding for, uh, but something also beyond just freelancing, charging for your time, right? So the core principle of this book is built around solo business, sustainable, right? So some of these buzzwords we're talking about, solo, sustainable, small business, trying to come up with words, buzz phrases, that are going to be related to your niche, right? So I wanna encourage you to go out and read something that is related to the topics you'll be blogging about. Read an article, Google search for some terms that are related to the niche you're blogging about and see what kinds of words jump out at you on the page, whether that's an article or a book. The second technique for coming up with a blog name is to turn to a dictionary or a thesaurus, right? So if you want to name your blog something with the word smart, um, you know, smart hiker, smart traveler, you're going to do travel tips or, or outdoor adventure tips, right? Smart outdoorsman. Um, there's lots of different ways you can try and come up with a word that you already like that's related by using a thesaurus, right? So a synonym of smart would be intelligent or clever. You could do the clever hiker. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can use a thesaurus to come up with alternative words for domain names that are available. The third technique you can use to come up with a great blog name is alliteration. And you'll see this in use right in the address bar over on my blog, ryrob.com. That's my nickname, but it's also a clever use of alliteration. It's catchy, it's memorable, and other examples of this out in the wild could be things like Coca-Cola. Best Buy, PayPal, Fred Flintstone. There are tons and tons of examples of alliteration used to create more memorable names. And that, that same principle applies to finding a good blog name as well. And, you know, an example, if you have a travel blog, could be the happy hiker, um, the trippy traveler. There's lots of different ways that you can try and pair similar words, usually that start with the same letter or series of letters, um, into some sort of clever name that's unique. The fourth technique that I like for naming blogs is something that, if you know me, you know I'm a big fan of personally, puns. Using a pun to name your blog can be a very fun, catchy, memorable way to stand out in the minds of your readers. And so, you know, a couple examples of this, Budget Bites is a blog that I personally like, Making Sense of Sense is a personal finance blog that I like, Girl Gone Travel, um, you know, a little bit edgier sort of travel blog out there, Intense Camping. Yep. She's in the Glow is another one. And Dollars and Cents, where Cents is spelled S-E-N-S-E, -E, another personal finance blog. You'll see lots of really clever, punny blog names, uh, especially in the personal finance space. Uh, but you'll see examples of this out in the wild as well. Um, if you're just poking around for different types of blogs in your niche, you'll often stumble upon really clever names that kind of just pick up the imagination of the readers and people want to follow along as well. The fifth technique for naming a blog that I want you to focus on is using humor some way, right? So somewhat related to puns, but doesn't necessarily have to be as heady, right? Using just humor can be a really fun way to differentiate the name of your blog. It can also help you find domain names that are still available because it goes a little bit out of the ordinary sort of established traditional paths. And so a few examples of, of uh, humorous blog names include uh, The Pregnant Chicken, um, kind of a food-related blog, right? Fit Bottomed Girls is a personal fitness blog for women. Cats Who Code um, is, you know, mostly about coding, but also a little bit of content about cats as well. Uh, Will Run for Margaritas, another sort of fitness exercise blog out there. The Lazy Baker is a great food blog name. Do You Even Blog is another blog that uh, one of my friends Pete McPherson runs and it sort of takes that sort of traditional joke, do you even lift, bro, um, and it applies it to do you even blog. 
The sixth blog naming technique is one that uses unrelated words and pairs them together to create a combination blog name that's something that's more unique, that'll stand out again, right? Staying with this theme of trying to be memorable for your readers. And one example that I really like is a parenting blog. It's called Scary Mommy. Um, you know, not something that you would usually think of two words that go well together. Um, however, it's a great blog on parenting because a lot of moms um, are searching for content related to dealing with uh, you know, interesting things with their children. And in this website, lots of moms chime in. Most of the write, uh, writers are women as well, so it's very relatable. Uh, and there's lots of fun, interesting stories here as well. So coming up with kind of an unrelated set of words. Um, another example uh, from the movie Robin Hood, the Disney movie that many of us saw growing up, uh, Little John, right? This really big bear character. Um, he stands out as memorable because he's not little at all. So coming up with some sort of interesting way to pair unrelated words uh, together can be a very cool way to differentiate your blog name as well. The seventh naming technique is a very simple one, just using your name, right? So there's, if you can't come up with another blog name that's related to your niche um, and has some sort of keyword that you like in it where a .com is still available, my advice is to not beat yourself over the head with this for days on end. Uh, just choose to go with something related to your name, right? So my name's Ryan Robinson. Um, I own ryanrobinson.me. Someone else has the .com. They registered it long before I was on the, the internet scene. However, uh, my blog URL is ryrob.com, just my nickname, right? So not overthinking it, that's what I went with to start with, and I've had no reason to have to change six years on down the line now uh, because it's become very recognizable within my niche um, and memorable for my readers. So try and come up with a name for your blog that's somewhat related to your name. If you have a common name, a uh, generic name like I do, uh, finding the .com may be a bit of a, a stretch. However, you can get a different extension, a .me, a .io, .co. There's lots of different options out there. Um, and so don't overthink it. It's something that you can always change later on down the line, um, especially once your blog starts making money. You can afford to invest in a different domain name that you know maybe is a little bit pricier. Um, however, justify that later on. Start with something simple. The eighth technique for naming your blog is personally my favorite. It's using words that are very related, closely related to your niche um, in order to weave them into the name of your blog. So brainstorming words that are related to your niche in particular is going to be a very helpful activity. Seriously, just spend five to 10 minutes coming up with different words, jotting them down on paper, I find to be most helpful. Um, the physical activity of writing kind of makes me come up with more creative words. Um, you can weave in some using of a thesaurus or a dictionary if that's helpful as well. But, you know, for example, if you're travel blogging, um, you know, words that would be related to travel include things like adventure, wayfarer, explorer, venturer, journey, sojourner, grifter, vagrant, nomad, wanderer, vagabond. I've seen tons and tons of travel blogs out there that leverage these clever different names and different, different types of traveling styles as well. Um, you know, the solo adventurer is a good name for a blog. The the digital nomad, the wandering soul. There's lots of different ways you can take words that are very closely related to the niche you're going to be blogging about and pairing them together with one other small word that kind of adds a unique little flair to it. The ninth technique is a little bit different. Uh, I want you to actually just take a complete break from this activity entirely. So I've personally found that when I'm really trying intensely to come up with something creative, especially, uh, that I'll burn myself out when I spend, you know, 30 minutes or an hour trying to solve some sort of problem that takes a lot of my creative mental energy, it becomes very draining. And if you've reached this point in this video where you're still trying to come up with a name for your blog, then I'm going to suggest that you take a break. Close your computer. Stop watching this video right now. Get outside. Go for a walk. Try and just switch up the mode that you're in right now. And I'll, I find that, you know, going and doing something that's mentally freeing, like going for a walk, going and sitting at a coffee shop without an agenda, will actually help refresh my creative energy. And sometimes more unique names will come to me from that activity of giving myself a break, giving yourself permission to just relax and let go of this for right now. 
Our 10th and final naming technique for coming up with a great name for your blog is to just use completely made up words. And this might sound a little bit out of the box or difficult for you. However, I want to give you a few examples to show you that this doesn't have to be something that is extremely trying to try and come up with a brand new unique word. There, there are no wrong answers here. So a few examples, Xerox, the copy machine company, right? Totally made up word, no meaning behind it. Kodak, Sony, Google, even haagen the ice cream company, it was a completely made up name. So there are no wrong answers when you're trying to come up with a name for your blog, as long as it's something that won't be confusing to readers, won't be difficult to spell, um, and there is still a .com available ideally. So if you want more, um, I've got a lot more detailed strategies on how to come up with a great name for your blog, especially ways that are intertwined in your niche and what you want to blog about. So my advice, if you want to continue this learning experience is to head over to my blog. There's a link below this video right now that you can click on. It'll take you to my ultimate guide on how to name a blog. And we also dive into 40 plus examples on that post of mine. So you can get some inspiration. I break them down by different niches, parenting, travel, food, blogging, writing, the list goes on and on. So if you want more, go ahead and click through on my guide and read more about how to name a blog.